when a deciduous molar is prematurely lost so what happens the space is lost well how much space is lost and how we can prevent it we will discuss it in a different video how we can prevent it this question was making a lot many students uh, confused a seven year old patient is missing tooth five five deciduous molar maxillary and tooth seven five that is mandibular deciduous molar second molar space maintainers were not placed a current mixed dentition analysis yields this data in the maxilla on the right hand side it is minus five millimeter means space loss is five millimeter and on the left side where the tooth was present three millimeter in mandible it is three millimeter on the right side and on the left side it is 4.5 millimeter means where the tooth was lost it was 4.5 millimeter so the actual space loss assuming there was no asymmetry in tooth size is eight millimeter in the maxilla adding it no two millimeter in the maxilla 7.5 millimeter in the mandible adding this or 4.5 millimeter in the mandible so let's first of all see what happens what is the situation when teeth are present and they were not lost the space lost is three millimeter whereas where the tooth was lost the space loss is five millimeter which is two millimeter in excess to this similarly in mandible where teeth were not lost prematurely so space loss when the teeth were exfoliated at the right time it was three millimeter and on the side where tooth was exfoliated or extracted prematurely so it was 4.5 millimeter space loss means 1.45 millimeter more than this so our answer will be two millimeter in the maxilla or if the question is asked 1.5 millimeter in the mandible thank you very much for an information on our courses and test series visit our website www.dentalprep.ca or you can email us at info@dentalprep.ca at